All right, we're going over the key here for the Mod 8 Day 4, or just the Conic Sections ellipses, ellipses worksheet that was your homework. And this top section is just asking you to match. So let's look at which equation goes with which graph. So if I first hone in on this one, because it only has a plane x squared and a plane y squared, I can see that this is going to be an ellipse that is centered at 0, 0. So if I go check my graphs for which one has the center at 0, 0, my only option is number 1. And then I would check to see, does it go a distance of 4 in the x direction? 1, 2, 3, 4 right, 1, 2, 3, 4 left, yes. And does it go a distance of 8? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in the y direction. So that one is my graph. And so I would put a B here and then cross both of those off because they're used. Next, I can see if I just start at A, that this is going to be centering at positive 1, negative 3. And if I go look for a graph that goes to positive 1, negative 3, positive 1, 1, 2, 3, it looks like this might be my center right here on graph 2. Now I'm going to go check to see if in the x direction it goes 8. And it does. And then up and down, does it go 6? And it does. So this is my graph, letter A. I'm going to cross out both A and 2. Next, I need to go to positive 1, positive 3 as my center. Positive 1, positive 3, nope. Positive 1, 1, 2, 3, yep. Positive 1, 1, 2, 3, uh-oh. Could be both of these, positive 1, 1, 2, 3, nope. So it's one of these two. Let's check the x and the y distances. So distance of 36 under the x. Uh, square root of 36 is just 6, so I'm going to test this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Aha! Now I'm leaning towards this one. Then distance of 8 up or down. 1, 2, 7, 8. And this confirms that graph 6 is my letter C. All right, now let's cross out C. Next one is at negative 1, positive 3. Negative 1, 1, 2, 3, not quite. Negative 1, 1, 2, 3. Negative 1, 1, 2, 3. This one's looking promising for graph 3. Now I want to check to see if on the x it goes distance of 3. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Graph 3 is my D. All right, write 1 up 3 with a distance of 5, we just found that one down here on number 5. So write 1, up 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The other distance is 7, and this is it. 5 is E. Finally, by process of elimination, that leaves me F at negative 2, 4. Let's go check if our last graph Negative 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yep, that looks like the center. And then distance of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And distance of 4, up and down. That's it. So this is my F, and we are done. Okay, how'd you do on those? Were you able to match those okay? Next, it said to graph these ellipses on your own paper, but we just, knowing we weren't going to go grab extra graph paper, said just get the center, the A and the B. And so center for this one is 0, 0. Remember that on an ellipse, your A is your larger. So A squared is 36 means A equals 6. B squared is 9 means B equals 3. Over here, my center is negative 3, positive 4. A squared is the larger, so A is 7. B squared is the smaller, so B is 5. Write the standard form of an ellipse. For these last four, we need to do some work on completing the square. So I'm going to start by grouping my x's and then grouping my y's. Oh, and then the constant of negative 8 moves to the other side, 8. Now, we notice there's a coefficient this time. We can only complete the square on one square at a time, so I'm going to divide that coefficient of 4 out. 4 goes into 4, 1 y squared. 4 goes into 8, 2 y's. And I'm just copying this guy down. Now I go do the b work. What's half of 4? 2. What's 2 squared? 
Whatever I add to one side, I add to the other. What's half of two? One. What's one squared? One. But I'm not just adding one one time, I'm adding one four times, which is just like another four. So eight plus four plus four is going to be 16. This is going to be the x minus 2 squared perfect. And then that 4 stays in front to the y plus 1 squared. Now I know that an ellipse needs to be equal to 1. So I'm going to divide all of these by 16 and I'm going to get my final equation as x minus 2 squared over 16. The 4 goes into 16 4 times, so it's the y plus 1 squared over 4 equals 1. And now I'm able to identify my h, my k, my a, and my b. So my center is going to be positive 2, negative 1. My a is always the larger, so square root of 16 is 4. My b is always the smaller, square root of 4 is just 2. How'd you do? Okay, pause the video and try a letter b on your own if you have not yet. I'm going to factor out a 9. I'm going to factor out a 4. I'm going to add 1 for the B work, but I'm not just adding 1 one time, I'm adding 1 9 times. I'm going to add 1 for the B work here, not just adding 1 one time, I'm adding 1 4 times. What's 23 plus 9 plus 4? Now we know that the ellipse needs to be equal to 1, so we're going to divide by 36, and that's going to leave me x minus 1 squared over 4, y plus 1 squared over 9 equal to 1. Now I'm able to get my center, my a, and my b. How'd you do? All right, for part c, I'm going to kind of run to the next page because of how big this is getting here. So we're going to go x squared plus 4x, leave space, y squared minus 24y, leave space, equals negative 24, because I'm going to move that constant over. So the x squared plus 4x has nothing to divide out, but the 4 divides out, leaving me y squared minus 6y. Now I'm going to do the B work on the 4. Half of 4 is 2. 2 squared is 4. Whatever I add here, I add here. B work on the 6. 6 divided by 3. Uh, 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. But I'm not just adding 9 one time. I'm adding 9 4 times, which is like adding 36. So really I've got 36 plus 4 is 40 minus 24, and we get 16. This is the x plus 2 squared perfect the y minus 3 squared perfect. I know that I want my ellipse to be equal to 1. So here I go with my final answer. x plus 2 squared over 16. y minus 3 squared over 4 equals 1. And now I'm able to get my center, my a, and my b. All right, if you haven't yet, pause the video and try this last one yourself. Okay, so x plus 3 squared perfect plus 4y minus 1 squared perfect. 9 minus 9 is 0 equals 4. I want this to be over 1, so we're going to divide everything by 4. And we get 
x plus 3 squared over 4, y minus 1 squared over an invisible 1 equals 1. Now I'm able to get my center, I'm able to get my a and my b, and I'm done. All right, circles versus ellipse. How can you tell the difference between their equations? Okay, so the circle doesn't have any known denominators. Usually if it's in its standard form and the radius is at the end, possibly a non-1 number. And an ellipse, we notice, starts in the same format, but it's not equal to a radius squared necessarily. It's got a 1 at the end, and it's got an A value and a B value that are different. So in a circle, technically the A value and the B values are both the same. And in an ellipse, the A value and the B values are different. What are the A and B values? Those are the, your distance from the center in the X direction and your distance from the center in the Y direction. So on a circle, the radius is the same in all directions. On an ellipse, the A and B are different for a different distance up, down, and right, left. All right, we're going to stop there before we go to the next slide.